Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about synchronizing Notion and Airtable. So if you've used Notion before, you know it's an incredible wiki and there's a lot of ways to use Notion. But in the automation sphere, it's a little bit more complex, right? Airtable is much more integrated and has just a lot more freedom when it comes to moving and triggering different automations. So how do you connect the two? Well, there's a tool called Unido that is excellent at synchronizing the information between Notion and Airtable. Anytime you add a record to Airtable or anytime you add a page in Notion, it'll actually synchronize and send that data to the other. So let's get into it. First, let's look at all of the fields. We have company, last name, first name, email, department, and start date. And in Notion, we have identical fields, company, last name, first name, email, department, and start date. But the first step of this is going to be adding a new field. We actually need a last modified field in both Airtable and in Notion. So this last modified field is going to be the mechanism that Unido is watching to make sure that everything is in sync. Because when it modifies something, it needs to know, hey, this uh, field has been modified. So let's go into Unido and actually start to, to configure and map these fields. So you're gonna sync with Airtable. We're gonna use our robot account and our wonderful tutorial database. And here we go, right here. And then we're gonna go into the other tool, which is gonna be Notion. Using our wonderful X-ray account and the database, again, the tutorial base. So here we go. So as soon as these things are found, we'll be able to confirm and move on. So now we're gonna set a flow direction. For our purposes, we're actually gonna be using uh, bi-directional sync, uh, but you could make it so that everything in Airtable goes to Notion, but not everything in Notion goes back to Airtable. So that's totally your preference, uh, but these are the rules. So in our case, we're gonna start with everything that happened on October 29th. And same thing on the bottom, everything that happened from October 29th forward. We'll get to dealing with your previously created information in a bit, but for now, let's focus on uh, mapping the fields. So it's gonna work exactly as you would think, right? You select department, you select department. Um, you select company, you select company. And you'll be able to go through all of these different fields uh, for right, your databases to align them as you see fit. Um, this is really helpful, especially if you have two different teams that are referring to the same field as different things, because that department, uh, right, refers to that data field as something specific. So you can map those manually and really understand where that information is going. So once we hit sync here, it's going to start an initial syncing process. And right here at the bottom, I really want to, to pause for a second and show you that it, there's a button dedicated to including older records or work items, it's called. That is the button that you'll click to be able to synchronize everything that has been put in both software, right? Not just information from October 29th forward. So when we click on that include records, um, or include older records or work items, we're gonna double confirm that there, and it's going to take some time. So this is what kicks off the Unido synchronization process to go all the way back to the beginning of time for Notion and Airtable and start to accumulate all of that data. So in this tutorial database, right, we don't have all, we don't have a ton of items here, just have uh, maybe a dozen or so, and you can see these items populating inside of Notion from Unido and from Airtable uh, and vice versa, right? We've got a dozen items here uh, and we can see some of those items start to uh, pop in or at least be synchronized here. And now let's see what happens when we add a record to the Notion database. So let, let's create a fake company inside of Notion. Here we go, our buddy John Smith company.email there we go and there an engineer engineering the date now when we come back to Airtable 10 minutes later right th this is an important point it does take about 10 minutes for the synchronization to happen this is not an instant process 
okay? If you're looking for things to happen instantly, using something like Unido and a synchronization software isn't the right move, but it's also the easiest way by far to synchronize information in two places, in two different software. So Unido does take about 10 minutes to synchronize the information uh, on a continuous basis, but it's also going to work every time. And you only need to set up one automation for that to happen. And you just saw that configuration process in this video. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you are maintaining data in multiple tools and you just want things to be synchronized, Unido is a fantastic tool to do just that. If there's anything else you'd like us to cover here on the show, feel free to drop a comment down below. As always, links and resources are in the description down below. And don't forget, keep the flow.